we're about to eat these huge Thai river prawns. It is definitely the size of my face. What a delicacy, what a prized ingredient. But before we eat them, we're going to warm our stomachs up with a legendary Thai restaurant that serves some really special, hard to find Thai dishes. Oh man, that flavor. It's so nutty, so rich from that coconut milk. And then after we eat the jumbo river prawns, we're gonna meet up with a hilarious Thai chef. Yo, that might die. <laughs> who specializes in wild river food. Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens and welcome to Ayutthaya, Thailand, which was the former capital of the Kingdom of Siam. It's about an hour drive north of Bangkok. And to this day, Ayutthaya is known for its history, religion, culture, and food. And because there's so many freshwater rivers in this area, there's a lot of freshwater food. And so today we're gonna go to three legendary restaurants, especially known for river fish and seafood and giant river prawns, and we made it to the first place. This restaurant is called Ban Takorai. Awesome place. Love the open air dining room. You can smell the aroma, all of the flavors in the air. I think these are all the dishes that we got. I had to resist because uh, there's so many good things on the menu, but we have a lot more food coming up, especially the jumbo river prawns, which we're gonna eat coming up soon. So I uh, just got some of their signature dishes. Everything looks fantastic. Let's start with their seng wa gung. And this is, it's kind of a rare to find Thai dish that you won't find everywhere. It's a classic, it's a traditional, it's a royal actually Thai dish and made with shrimp. And I think the shrimp head juices butter is all mixed in there, the tamale. There's shallots, it looks like there's ginger, there's chilies, uh, and you can eat this with rice or you could dip vegetables in it. Kind of like a relish, kind of a dip, but then also a main dish at the same time. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, the flavor of the ginger immediately. Plus the taste of the shallots. Oh man, that's amazing. It's like perfectly salty. You taste the richness of the shrimp. You've got chilies in there, you have herbs in there. There's green onions, there's some kind of citrus, maybe lime juice in there. Oh yeah, that's so much flavor, all condensed into that bowl with those shrimp. Okay, let's try again. With big, huge chunks of chopped up shrimp in there. I love all those shallots, especially the ginger though. Mmm, mmm, that is incredible. Typically when I've had sing wa, this dish, it's quite a bit different actually. It's more of like this refreshing salad using som sa, which is a, a type of traditional Thai citrus. It's almost like a shrimp salad. This one is more like a rich shrimp relish. So it's a totally different style, really heavy on the ginger. That's what really stands out to me. It's a dish that you won't find everywhere. It's rare to find, and their version is totally different from any other version that I've had this dish before. Let's move into the next dish, which is chu chi bla nua an. Chu chi is the type of curry, which is from central Thailand, very popular in Ayutthaya, and we got bla nua an. Nua an is a type of sheep fish, I believe. Man, this looks so good. Look at how thick that coconut cream is so rich. I love all that basil on top. This needs to be with rice because that, that curry is so thick and so rich. Oh man, that coconut milk is just curdled. Pieces of fish in here, be careful of the bones. Freshwater fish oftentimes have, has quite a lot of bones, a little bit bony, but that's all right. It's so flavorful. Even the aroma of this is incredible. Mm. But oh man, that flavor. It's so nutty, so rich from that coconut milk. Like literal, like heavy cream, like buttery almost. Tucci curry is usually a little bit sweet, but what I like is it's really herbal at the same time. You really taste the, the freshness of the, the sweet basil, the lime leaves in there. Man, and that fish, you can tell it's a really fatty fish. Just totally kind of dissolves, melts, the fat melts in your mouth, along with the fat of the coconut milk. You need to have another piece of this fish immediately. Look at that thickness. Literally that fish is also so tender and so melt in your mouth that it just kind of blends with the coconut milk. Oh, we got some of the belly section. That's gonna melt in your mouth. You do need to be careful of the bones. Wow, that's good. One of the better plates of chu chi curry that I've ever had. The fattiness of the fish just melts into the coconut cream. is unbelievable. The next dish is not freshwater fish, but it is a signature dish, so I thought we had to try it. 
which is gaduk an. And gaduk an are the young pork ribs with cartilage ribs. And so they stir fry this up. You can see basil in here. You can see chilies in here, probably some red chili paste. And then you eat it along with uh, bayira, which are tree basil or clove basil leaves, as well as pickled shallots. And you make a little wrap. Grab a pickled shallot. It's actually pickled garlic, not pickled shallots. And then wrap it up. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man, all that flavor together in your mouth. The licorice flavor of the, the clove basil leaf. The pork, it has a little bit of a texture to it because you can feel that cartilage, so it has a little texture to it. And basically it tastes like a padka pao, which is stir-fried holy basil uh, because you, there's a lot of holy basil in there, the curry paste, the garlic in there. And then you've got the, the pickled garlic, which is a little bit acidic, soury vinegar, but then also sweet at the same time. So that all comes together in your mouth, all those flavors together. That's a wonderful combination. That is really tasty. Also, I couldn't resist ordering gang pa pa krai, which is, this is a jungle curry, one of my absolute favorite dishes of Thailand. This one made with fish, but fish meatballs from the clown featherback fish. In order to make these fish meatballs, what they would do is they would take the fish and debone it, and then usually pound it, often by hands in a mortar and pestle, and then you'd get this, you'd break down the fibers and the muscle of the fish until it becomes a paste, and then you make these little meatballs. So it's pure fish, uh, but just in a totally different texture and gives it a totally different profile. And then made into jungle curry, red curry paste, lots of finger root in here, lots of basil in here, lots of chilies, green pepper. Mm. Mm. Jungle curry, always one of my favorite dishes. I just love the the natural flavors of it. The bitterness, herbs that go into it, all of that finger root, the red chili, and the meatballs, the fish meatballs are delicious too. Pure fish, but it has a really spongy, bouncy texture to it. Uh, the first restaurant that we ate at is right within Ayutthaya town, but then the other two are a little bit outside of town, about 30 minute drive outside of town along the Chao Phraya River, still within Ayutthaya, because Ayutthaya is not just a city, but it's an entire province of Thailand. Oh, we have made it to the main event. This place is called Ranahan Rim Nam, and it's right up against the Chao Phraya River. This is the main event. This is where we came to eat the jumbo, the huge freshwater river prawns straight from the Chao Phraya River and the, the estuaries, the canals, the streams, and the rivers around this area. And I love this restaurant. It's so laid back. The wooden tables, uh, the deck over the water. Oh, I need nam chu chi. Come. Okay, so this is another dish that we're getting, which is called chuchi. Okay, there's garlic, lemongrass. Oh, the fish goes in. It's one of their special dishes as well. Though. I'm like, I'll fix it for the shrimp. Oh, that aroma is incredible. It smells so good. Okay, so some sweet basil and some lime leaves go in. Finely shaved lime leaves. Okay, so here... Oh, these are huge. And they're about 350 grams each because we got three of them for one kilo. So three of these is a kilo. It is definitely the size, the length of my face. So he's gonna slice them. Look at that yellow head butter. Come on. 
Okay, so he said he's gonna grill them for about six or seven minutes. Okay, come. Lid goes over, so they're gonna kind of bake and steam while grilling at the same time. And he said, cook for about six to seven minutes. So he's opened the lid. You can see that they're turning orange already. And that tamale is starting to melt. I mean, living in Thailand, I've had river prawns quite a few times, but it's something that is always exciting. It's a real treat. It's a delicacy. It's something that never gets old, that you never get tired of. They're so, so good. And so I can tell you without a doubt that I'm just as excited to try them now after many, many years as I was the first time to try them. Okay, so these are the, the claws of the shrimp, freshwater shrimp. Garlic goes in. Yeah. And these are the lotus stems. Okay, let's go in while they're still hot and fresh. Look at the size of this. Oh, and look at that, it's just rattling around the tamale. Literally, that's shrimp pudding. Oh, it's sloshing. <laughs> it's like panna cotta. Okay, look, it takes up an entire plate. Oh, this is a beautiful prawn. I think I'm just gonna go in with my fingers. Just pull it out. It is the size of a lobster. Pull this out. Then, oh, oh man, you can feel how perfect that flesh is. So tender. Oh, oh, and that's the best bite right there where the head butter juices meet the meat. <laughs> oh, it's one of the greatest single bites you could have. The combination, the sweetness of the body of the freshwater prawn with the head butter, which has a little hint of a bitterness, but also an incredible sweetness, almost a nuttiness as well. And that combination together, all in your mouth at once, it's unbelievable. What a delicacy. What a prized ingredient from the, the rivers of central Thailand. Oh, it's so good. And he cooked it absolutely perfect. He could tell from the way the, the meat's firming up, it's not dried out at all. It remains sweet, juicy, moist, succulent. For my next bite, I'll dip it into the Nam Chim seafood. This is the classic Thai seafood dipping sauce uh, with chilies, garlic, fish sauce. There can be sugar or lime juice in here as well. I wanna scoop some of this up and then, oh man, I'm gonna need to scoop some on with the, the spoon. Yeah, I mean, okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna go the extra mile and do a swipe, a head swipe. <laughs> oh, wow. And I think I've mentioned this before. The freshwater shrimp, they're so good. I mean, you could eat them on their own and be very happy with nothing else. But 
a little extra chilies and garlic never hurt. And I mean, Thais know what they're doing when it comes to sauces, balancing the flavors, adding that saltiness, that sourness, that garlic and chilies. Remember what I was saying in the kitchen that I've eaten plenty of river prawns during my time in Thailand, but just something that never gets old, something that is truly an unbelievable natural ingredient. They are truly spectacular. I think they're sweeter than most lobsters and the texture is just silky in your mouth. For my next one, we'll do a different technique. Oh, look at that tamale in there. The, look at that swirl of colors. It's like mustard yellow mixed with orange and red. So I'll put this onto my, my plate. Now, the technique here is to go in with rice this time. Go into the head, mix that. <laughs> okay, oh, oh, that's beautiful. Then you take the chili sauce, chili garlic sauce, the namjim seafood, pour this in, and then scoop out as much as possible onto a single spoon bite. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare the tail, prepare the body so that we could chase with the body. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh man, that's insane. The rice bite, the rice absorbs the head butter, the nuttiness, the sweetness, the complexity. Then with the seafood sauce, the sourness, the acidity, the chilies, the garlic, the fish sauce to bring a, give it some saltiness. Oh man, without a doubt, that's one of the greatest single bites that you can eat when you're in Thailand. That head butter, shrimp pudding. I mean, it's straight up shrimp pudding with rice with the seafood sauce. It's something truly magical in your mouth. Okay, let's move into some of their other signature dishes. And we got lucky to, today because they said we're getting the original taste of every dish. I mean, I'm sure it will taste pretty much the same, but we got lucky because Auntie, who is the original who made the recipes, these are her recipes, she cooked the dishes for us, especially the chuchi curry, which I'm about to try right now. I'm gonna grab a piece of fish. Oh, that's so fragrant. Put it onto my rice. And what type of fish did she say this was? I think she said it's a uh, blah nam namalagam. All right. Mm. The red chili in there, really heavy with the lemongrass. It has a sweetness as well. And then has a nuttiness to it. And what I really love are all those herbs that she added, especially the finely shaved uh, lime leaves, which just gives it this amazing citrusy flavor. Plus the, uh, the flavor of the sweet basil also, that just gives it that hint of a licorice -y sweetness as well, but a real freshness. And this is one of the real classic dishes of central Thailand, especially made with river fish, it's delicious. Let's add some more of that curry paste. Mm. Mm. That is spicy. Uh, and then it has a, yeah, a balance of sweet, salty, and spicy. The next dish that's another one of their specialties that they said we can't miss here is called uh, lon bu. Lon is a classic Thai dish, kind of a relish or a dip made with coconut milk. There's minced pork in here. I'm sure there's lots of shallots and garlic. And then this is with crab, which I think are freshwater crabs or from the paddy fields. You can eat it with rice, but typically you can also eat it with vegetables. So you grab your choice of vegetables. I'll start with cabbage and then go in. Get a little bit of those few of those chilies. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man, that's good. The sweetness of the coconut cream. And it almost has a, because of the way it's prepared, it almost has a little bit of a foamy texture to it. The fresh coconut milk, like buttery, yeah, like really thick cream. It has a sweetness to it. It has a real harmony of saltiness from the crabs, from the minced pork. You taste the shallots, the sweetness of the shallots in there as well when you bite down on one of those little green chilies that just pops and just releases those chili fumes into your mouth. Put all of that together at one time. Oh man, and with the crunch of the, the vegetables, really, really good. Next up for the shrimp claws, stir fried with saibua, which is lotus stems. Let me put this onto my rice. Let me add a huge piece of garlic. Delicious, and it's one of the classic dishes that's made with the 
the, the claws of the freshwater shrimp because they're so long. They're like arms, circular straw-like pieces of meat that come out of them. It's another thing that comes directly from the river, the lotus stems. I love the texture, really silky, with a little bit of a fresh crunch at the same time. It has just a little bit of sliminess to it, but the texture is delicious. If you want to bump up the chili saltiness and garlic, you, you can add a little pricknam pla, which is the chili's fish sauce. Okay, next up, another one of their specialties is the Thai tom yum soup, but with la ma, which is, in Thai, it's a horse fish. It's another freshwater fish from the river. Oh, I love the, you can see already that there's fresh chilies, dried chilies, culantro, there's lemongrass, oh, loaded with chilies. Oh man, I'm excited, it looks spicy. Yeah, look at all those herbs too. Oh, that's, that's on a next level right there. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that's spicy. Oh yeah. Oh man, and I love it when they add the combination of different varieties of chilies, from fresh chilies to dry chilies, because that just that brings out the flavor. You've got the smokiness, the condensed flavor, almost the tomatoiness of the dry chilies. Oh, and that tom yum is amazing. It's perfectly sour, salty, spicy, with the aromatics, the galangal, the lemongrass in there. Okay, and then for that fish. Oh, you can see that's really meaty. Man. That fish is just so pure tasting, really huge meaty pieces. It's not bony at all. Man, it's almost like a chicken breast. So flaky, so hearty. Okay, so yeah, everything is outstanding here. Food is so good. Oh man, we've come to the end of the plate. Final bite, final shrimp. Oh. Yes. So normally I rarely order desserts, but they talked us into the dessert because they say they home make it. And it's called Luktan Loi Gao. Uh, Luktan is the, the fruits of the Palmyra palm. And then it's also the sugar palm. So that's what they make sugar from, palm sugar from. But then you can see, where are the fruits? Are they, are they like, are they ground up into the ice maybe? Or are they, oh, there's pieces of it. Okay, here, I think that's a piece. There we go, that's a piece with a really fine shave ice. Oh. Don't take a giant bite of ice. Oh man. The brain freeze goes into your teeth. Mm. Oh, that is really good. Oh man. I love the texture of that ice though. It's really fine. It is sweet, but icy and refreshing. And then you've got the pieces of the Palmyra palm fruit, which kind of have the texture of coconut, like a young coconut at this stage. Mm. That is. Fantastic though. I'm glad they they said we had to try this. Oh man, that was so good. What a place, what a restaurant along the river. And for the bill, well actually we got the biggest size that they have, which is three per kilo. And so we got a kilo of freshwater shrimp, which was 1,500 baht, which is approximately 50 US dollars just for the shrimp. And then with the whole meal, it was about probably $65 or so. And so it's not cheap, but it is so worth it. It's such a good value for your money. Something truly magical and delicious and thrilling and just a delicacy, something that you can eat on occasion to celebrate and just, yeah, totally, totally worth it. Outstanding. What a meal, highly recommended. And we are moving on to the next restaurant. Okay, here we are. We made it to the next place. This is a jungle curry restaurant. One of the signatures about this restaurant is it's all self-service. You have to actually go to the kitchen and tell the chef what you want. He'll, there's no menu, you just tell him what you want. You get all of your own utensils and you chat with the chef as you order your food. So let's go, first step, walk to the kitchen. Oh, I love this place. <laughs> oh, what a place. I mean, it's just at his house. Like a, I mean, feels like you're in a patio in a garage on the side of the road. Oh. Step into the kitchen. 
สวัสดีครับเชฟสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับขอถ่ายรูปขอถ่ายรูปขอถ่ายรูปนิดหน่อยนะมาครับเชฟขอบคุณมากครับวันนี้มีอะไรบ้างครับโอ้ยต้มยำต้มยำไข่ปลาไหมครับพี่ได้ครับขอขอต้มยำไข่ปลาครับ the small fish you gotta get the โอ้เสร็จแล้วเหรอครับพี่เสร็จแล้วสามวันโอ้โหจิมมี่เดียอันนี้คืออันนี้อันนี้คืออะไรครับไก่ล้วนครับเรื่องครับอไก่ล้วนโอ้ yes wild boar with chili ทอดมันทอดมัน and these are the fried Fried fish cakes with catfish, type of catfish. My God! Do bum bum. This place is so hilarious, and Chef is so funny. He just sings and dances as he cooks, and it's it really is self self service. <laughs> yes, you serve yourself. <laughs> Help yourself. <laughs> He's walking into Uncle's kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> He's just constantly, constantly joking and cracking up. Yo, long kid do. Oh. Cheers. Okay, ขอบคุณครับ Okay, so we got the frog as well. That is definitely a freshwater <laughs> seafood animal creature. Okay, so he just quickly blanches it. Oh, he's gonna make it extra spicy, the frog. Okay. <laughs> Okay, yes, oh, no, he's making it extra spicy. Oh, yes. Finger root goes in, lime leaves go in. The frog is ready. He made it super Ooh. spicy. Yes, my pet, <laughs> my pet, my gin cup. Pete made it extra spicy. Um, and man, yeah, it's fiery, <laughs> red in color. But he said he's been he he. Tama ki bila? Welcome. Lan. Sam. Sam sepok b. Thirty-six years he's had this restaurant and he's been cooking. Oh, he's so happy. He's so incredibly happy. What a man. <laughs> I mean, yeah, everything he says is a joke. I need pla like a loon. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. So this is a river fish that he's frying here. One of his specialties as well. Oh, and for the fish, he fries it extra crispy so that you can eat all the bones and everything. Oh, n a g i n m a k r a b Oh wow. Oh, that fresh fried fr fish. So crispy, wow, all the way through yeah. the bones. Okay, yeah. that's for us. And another one of his specialties okay, yeah. is tom yum kai pla, which is tom yum made with uh, fish eggs, made from the river fish, the type of catfish, um, and that's his specialty. You look at how thick and creamy it is. It looks so good, and I think he made everything. I think we've got our full order. Now we need to serve ourselves, bring it to the table. Kapun m a k r a b Oh, bring it. <laughs> Time to eat, but also over. <laughs> Pet, that, my God. My pet, my kid, that, or.
I said, he said he was playing a joke on my shirt, but um, not spicy, not eating in a, a very local Thai home style way. Okay, so from here, look, you get your own plates. Okay, we got we gotta get our silverware, get our forks. Oh, okay, get a couple of plates. Oh, and the, the cups are over on this side. Okay, kapun makram. Okay, krab. Oh, and then there's you even self self serve yourself with the water. Okay, kapun makram. Oh, it smells so good, hot and fresh and extremely spicy. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got it all. Whoa, we got a lot of food. Oh man, I am so excited for this meal. This is like, you literally, like you're coming over to uncle's house and you get whatever he's cooking. You don't, you don't get to say anything. He just jokes and you take whatever, whatever is available. That being said, the food looks outstanding. He's been cooking for 36 years and man, we have some fiery, fiery dishes. Let's go for the Tadman Bakrai. These are the fried fish cakes and they, they homemade these fried fish, like, I mean, the, the pounded fish mixture made into little hand meatballs with herbs, with spices. Mm. Oh man, that's good. A little bit elasticy from the, the fibers of the fish. It's spongy. You taste the flavor of the basil in there, the, the chili paste, not spicy, a little bit spicy, but really fragrant. I love the texture. You taste the the quality of it, I mean, just the pure fish, the pure fish of it. I can't wait to try his specialty, the tom yum kai pla with the fish eggs. And he has it all prepared in a big pot. I love how chunky and herbal it is. Just look at that, just huge chunks of galangal. There's basil in here, lime leaves. There's uh, lemongrass, chunks of lemongrass. And if you could see that broth, it's so, so murky. I think from the, the fish eggs and the dry chili in there. Oh man, that has this incredible toasted smoky flavor. I think from the chilies and maybe the, the eggs and then the, all those herbal aromatics come in with the galangal, the earthiness of the galangal, the freshness of the basils. It's a little bit spicy, it's salty. Oh, it's such a well-rounded flavor. It's so, so sour and smoky and totally different from other places. Totally a different style tom yum. Let's try some of those eggs. Mm. Mm. It's like the, the eggs have almost been smoked or burned to be added to the, to the tum yum to give it that flavor. It has a nice spicy undertone. And yeah, those eggs just kind of crumble in your mouth because they're fully cooked. So these little beads of, of fish eggs just crumble. It kind of crumbles, yeah, crumbles in your mouth. That is, that's delicious. What a flavor, and it is spicy. Oh, I love that smokiness. Okay, let's go in for some rice. This one he called kuo kling, but it's more like a, it's kind of like a pad pet, which is a stir fried chili. Tons and tons of red chili paste in here, his own red chili paste, minced pork. He added in some bayira, which is tree basil or clove basil, and then lime leaves as well. Oh man, that looks so spicy, looks so good. Mm. Mmm. Oh, you added in a bunch of fish sauce too. That gives it an immediate punch of saltiness. Plus the flavor of those chilies, that chili paste. It's spicy. I love tree basil. It has this incredible licorice peppery taste. Oh, and the black pepper in there too. That is good. Okay, I'm gonna try the fish next. Fried until completely crispy so you can eat the head, you can eat the body, you can eat all the bones. Oh man, that is tasty. Straight up like a French fry. That's a French fry fish right there. And I think he did marinate it maybe with a little bit of soy sauce or oyster sauce. It has a nice saltiness to it. The texture is incredible. The flavor is delicious. Oh, that's, those are so good. Oh, that's the type of thing you could sit, sit around all afternoon and snack on. Oh. They're like fish Cheetos. Let's try the frog, chopped up, hacked up again, loaded with a red curry paste, plus basil, plus lime leaves. Mm. Mm. 
Oh man, his red curry paste is so good. And again, heavy on the herbs, oily, but so fragrant, spicy. Mmm. What you can really taste in there is the finger root as well, which he chucked in as he was cooking it. It has a gingery flavor to it as well. And you can't go wrong with the frog. Frog is meaty, muscular, just good pieces of meat, actually. Not that bony, so good. Okay, next up for the mupa, this is the wild boar. Wild boar again, whoa, huge pieces of wild boar. Stir fried with the curry paste. Similar, I think it's almost the same recipe as the, the frog, just wild boar. Mmm, mmm. Oh man, it's tender too, the wild boar. But what's something I love about wild boar is all the different textures. You have the meat, you have the fat, you have the skin. The skin is a little rubbery, a little chewy. The fat goes down easily and the meat is actually very tender. And again, it's that same exact flavor as the frog. And then the final dish, I think this might be the final dish that we got. To be honest, I'm not even sure what this dish is. I think he just scooped it to us. <laughs> I don't even know if we ordered it. He just scooped it out for us. Oh, Whoa. oh, it's immediate. And we took it, but I think it looks like chicken in a, a gravy sauce. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely chicken. A much milder flavor than the, the chili stews, the chili stir fries. A little bit sweet and a little bit sour. And there's some chili in there too. Kind of has a smoky flavor as well. Those fish are so addictive. And then those fish, and then you chase it with some of the, the tom yum broth. Oh, what a combination. Those are my two favorite things, along with the frog. The name of this restaurant is called Dak Ang Po Chana, and it literally means for, it's kind of a slang, joking way to say, eat yourself. And so like it literally translates to help yourself, get whatever, do whatever you want here. Come to eat and do whatever you want. I'd highly recommend the, the fish dishes are really, really the highlight here. Three incredible restaurants focusing and specializing in freshwater fish and jumbo Ayutthaya river prawns. I'll have all the information of the restaurants in the description box below that you can check out. And also, make sure you watch, I'm also doing a top street food tour of some of the must eat street foods in Ayutthaya town that you're not gonna wanna miss as well. So make sure you watch that video. And I wanna say a big thank you for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And also make sure you subscribe for lots more food and travel videos. Goodbye from Ayutthaya, I'll see you on the next video.